What's going on guys? Tall Fisherman Jay here and today I am back with another installment of Catch and Cook. Now my last video which would be the mine cichlid catch and cook you guys were strongly suggesting for me to cook gar. Now a lot of you guys were commenting that I'd say about 10 or 15 people said gar so I'm out here today to go ahead and catch a gar and cook them and try them for the first time. Now, I don't know how these things are going to taste personally I don't like the way gar look or smell. I'm pretty sure I won't like the way they taste, but you guys wanted to see it and I'm going to do it. So we're gonna get started. I think it's gonna be easy because there's gar everywhere around here. So let's get it. It's a freaking giant right there, you guys. Let's see if he'll eat. Oh, oh my God, he took it. Oh my God, he's right there. You guys, can you see that in the water? Look at this guy, he's right there. Oh my God, he's so big. We're gonna give him time to eat. These things take forever. Oh, swallowed the hook. Oh my God, here we go. He's gonna, he's gonna take off. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my gosh. No, damn it. Oh, giant gar. Oh my God, did you guys see that? He freaking demolished it. Are right, we gonna give him like 60 seconds just to swallow the, the hooks? Cause these things are crazy when it comes to getting hooked. They know how to spit it really well. So. Their mouths are just not made for getting hooked. So he's, he's right there. I can see him eating. We're going to give him a couple seconds. Let him swim. So he can get hooked. And we got ourselves a catch and cook, boys. All right, we're going to see. We're going to see if he's hooked. Oh, I got him. Yep, he's good. I got him. Oh, I got him. He's not getting off. There we go. Oh my God, it's a big one. Yes. Oh. Oh, we got him, guys. Oh, there we go. Nice. Gar. Right there, guys. Woo. Beautiful. Gar. This guy's going to be our catch and cook. I don't know how he's going to taste, you guys. I mean, these things are smelly and ugly, but you requested it, so I'm going to do it. He's a nice size one. I have to say two or three pounds. He's a decent one for a catch and cook. Here is the gar. I got him off the hook. He's a nice size one. So this is it. This is going in the cooler. We're gonna head back and cook him. Oh God. All right guys, check it out. We are back ready to cut this fish. I, I'm not excited at all. <laughs> These fish are not the most delicious looking fish out there. I've been watching a couple YouTube videos of people on how they cut them and their first reactions on how they taste. They say it's not too bad, but everyone has their own personal preference. So here is the fish. Um, he's a big one. He's about a two or three pounder. Just take a look at these. Take a look at these, these teeth, you guys. Crazy teeth on these. I don't know how the meat's gonna be, but we're gonna go ahead and do what we always do. We're going to skin them, fillet them, try and get as much meat as possible, and then head inside and cook them. All right, guys, as you guys can see, this skin is literally like armor. Listen to this. It is so hard. So we couldn't get through it with the knife. What we need actually is garden shears. So I had to go and get garden shears, and that's how you can only penetrate this skin. It is so tough, but we finally figured it out. The garden shears are going to get through it, so we're going to continue this and get some meat off this guy. You guys, the skin of these gar, it's unbelievable. When you catch them, you can't really appreciate what their skin is like, but it's literally like, like plastic. And I just got a little peek of the meat inside and I am extremely, extremely surprised. Look at that meat. Look at how white that meat is. That is unbelievable. So we're gonna finish this off and we're gonna get some meat off this I am thoroughly surprised right now. My mind is blown, but we're gonna go ahead and finish and try and get as much meat as possible off this guy.
We just lifted off this piece of meat, and what do we see? Some caviar. Mmm, yummy. I was not expecting these fish to have this white of meat. From what the fish looks like and where the fish comes from, you would not expect this. So these are the fillets cleaned. Obviously the skin is off of them. I'm just gonna cut them into little square, like little nuggets. And we're gonna head inside and prepare these to try them for the first time. I'm terrified, I don't know how they're gonna taste, but we're gonna do it. Here we are back in the familiar old kitchen. Here are our gar nuggets. Now, they look very, very good. I'm going to go ahead and bread these bad boys in some light breadcrumbs, salt, pepper, you know, very minimal stuff. And we're gonna have ourselves some gar nuggets. Pour some of this milk in, milk bath, set, and done. A lot of you guys question why I put them in milk. Um, I've read and I've seen online, if you put them in milk, it helps tenderize the meat of fish. I don't know if it works, but I do it every time to just let them sit in here for four to five minutes. So that's what I'm gonna do. And we're gonna prepare our dry ingredients. So in go the breadcrumbs. We're gonna put a lot, because we have a lot of nuggets. There's like 10, I think there's 10 pieces in there. So I'm gonna put a little bit more than I think we need. Italian seasonings, this stuff is so good. That in there. We're gonna keep it a little simple because we still do want to have the natural taste of the gar. So I think that's all we're gonna put. We're not gonna put any kind of spice. Um, there's salt and pepper already in the seasoning. So we're literally just using breadcrumbs and a little bit of Italian seasoning and that's it. Once the milk bath is finished, we're gonna take those pieces, transfer them in here and then bring them to the pan. Gar has been sitting long enough in the milk, so what we're gonna do is just drain the milk right now. So once you drain the milk, obviously you're left with these nice little nuggets with just a little bit of milk residue on there. So next we're gonna put them in our breading mixture, shake them all up, and they're gonna get covered and turn into some beautiful gar nuggets. So we'll throw them in there, close the bag, shake them up really nice. All right, so they all look covered pretty well. We're gonna go ahead and take them out, lay them down on this little mat, and they're ready to go in the pan, you guys. Dang, these things look good, I'm not gonna lie to you. I was not expecting gar to look this good. Check out these gar nuggets. Who would have thought a gar would look so tasty? They're perfectly sized nuggets. The meat is pretty tender and soft. I'm really excited to try these. I, I, may, I feel like I'm going to be very surprised. When, when I was out catching these gar, I was not expecting the meat to be perfect and for these to look so good. So they are ready to go in the pan. We're going to go ahead, heat up our oil and get to cooking. I'm not going to put all of them in at once. Last time I made nuggets, I put them all in and some of them ended up burning because I couldn't watch all of them. So I'm going to put five pieces in. That should be enough for me to try. Here we go. Oh, the pan isn't scolding hot, but it'll catch up. Oh, yeah, I hear it sizzling. When I do these catch and cooks, I love to give you a lot of different aspects of it. So right now, I would love to give the aspect of the smell. So the aroma that's coming off smells good. It doesn't smell like the cichlid did. When I cook the cichlid, there was such a fishy aroma to it. It was actually pretty disgusting. So right now, this is smelling pretty good. All right, so these are ready to take off now. I promise I did not burn them. I'll burn them too bad. Take them off here. They're uh, golden brown, a little darker than golden, but they're pretty good. They look incredible. I'm really, really proud of how I made these. They look so good. I'm just, I'm really hoping that they taste good. I mean, I wish these things taste good. So let's go ahead, sit down, eat them, and I'll give you my honest opinion on them, you guys. We are back at the table yet again, ready to eat 
Another species of fish that you guys suggested on my last video, a ton of you guys said gar. I mean, I think I could count like 15 or 20 different comments from 20 different people that said, try gar. Here you guys have it. Here is pan fried breaded gar. Now, let me just tell you before I eat this fish, I'm not excited for it. I, when, I, when I read the comments and people said to eat gar, I didn't want to do it. Gar down here in South Florida are somewhat of a nuisance. We don't like them. They're not fun fish to catch. They smell terrible. They're, they come out of, they, they reside in some of the worst water there is around here. They're just not fun. They're just not good fish that people would expect you to want to eat. This is gar. So as always, I'm going to show you the texture of it. I love to show it close to the camera so you can see exactly uh, what it looks like and kind of imagine how it feels and how it tastes. The meat is very, very white and tender. Absolutely was not expecting that. Everything so far has been a plus. Something I was not expecting as I've been saying throughout this whole entire video. So I'm going to do a little close up, show you the texture of it. Uh, it's just a piece of fish. You know, they all pretty much look the same, but they do not taste the same. Here's the rib test. The meat is tender and white. So that's a good sign. It's kind of a little, little veiny, but whatever. But let's just go ahead and jump in it. Let's do it. I'm going to grab the piece that I ripped right here. And we're going to try it. Here we go. Oh, it's like a little, kind of a little vein left over. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. What the f You guys, this gar, holy This tastes so good. No lie, I'm not acting. This is amazing. Are you j You guys, this tastes so good. I wish you guys can taste this. I was not expecting this. This is a gar. This is those nasty, dirty gar. I mean, okay, the breading obviously helps, but once you get past the breading, the fish is so good. It's flaky, it has a mild taste to it. It's almost, it's kind of bland, but it has a slight taste to it. It's really, really good, you guys. I almost finished the whole plate. Overall impressions on the gar, A, freaking plus me saying how good they taste literally does nothing for you guys unless you try it for yourself so you know if you guys want to try gar go ahead i showed you guys how to cook it even though i'm not the best of cooks but if you have a chance to try gar make sure it's clean and go ahead and try it. it is so good if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up i really do appreciate it. it lets me know that you guys enjoy the content that i create for you as always everyone thank you so much for watching liking commenting and subscribing and i will see you later.